ultimately we have confirmed this diagram for all cats and dogs. Now the question is what would be the diagram for some cats and dogs? Let's take, an, take a look at that diagram. Some cats must be dogs. So let's say this is the diagram of cats and we need the diagram of dogs. So some cats would be dogs. So that would be an intersection between cats and dogs. So all these diagrams our objective is to reduce the intersection at the same time whatever given in the statement that must be true for the diagram as well. So that means some cats or dogs there must be intersection of cats and dogs but we will keep it as, as limited as possible. That means if you increase this intersection of cats and dogs all cats would be the dogs. Right? So we don't need that. What we do, we'll just reduce the intersection. At the same time, we need what? Or some cats. So there must be a little bit of intersection. And uh, no cats or dogs. How do we draw it? No cats. So cats and dogs. So not a single cat is dog. So that means cats and dogs, you know what? There is no intersection. Two separate diagrams. And some cats are not dogs. Some cats. If you take some cats, they are not dogs. So that is a little bit confusing. Some cats are not dogs. How do we draw the diagram for some cats are not dogs? What is the intention or objective? Reduce the intersection as much as possible. At the same time, we need to respect what the statement says. So that means the diagram must follow the statement and diagram must be true for the statement as well. So some cats are not dogs. So when you are taking some cats, they are not dogs. So I'm taking some cats from here. They are not dogs. And I'm taking some cats from here. They are not dogs. I'm taking some cats from here. They cannot be dogs. So how about I draw a diagram like this? Cats and these are dogs. So some cats, if I take some cats from here, they are not dogs. However, these two diagrams look exactly same. And the statements are different. So if the statements are different, the diagrams cannot be exactly same, especially when it comes to the logical interpretation. So logically, these diagrams cannot be same. But physically, that could be same. That's not an issue. So what is the logical way of explaining this difference between these two diagrams? In this case, no cats or dogs. That means no single cat become dog. So there is no intersection between cats and dogs. We'll keep a space arrow between them. So they are not supposed to intersect. No cats or dogs. And how about this one? Some cats are not dogs. Some cats are not dogs. How about the other cats? Is it really necessary that some cats are not dogs means other cats are dogs? Is it really necessary? Not at all. Well, some cats are not dogs. Other cats could be buffaloes. Think about it. Some students are not stupid means the other students are really stupid. Not necessarily. Some students are not stupid means the other students could be stupid or the other students could be intelligent as well. Same case here. Some cats are not dogs means the other cats could be dogs or the other cats are not dogs at all. So, well, some of the cats could be dogs. So, the cats may intersect with the dogs. It's not necessary, but it is possible. So we don't keep a space arrow in between. So in this case, there is a space arrow that indicates no cats or dogs. In this case, there is no space arrow. That indicates, well, some cats could be dogs, not necessarily. So now, these are the basic diagrams that we used exam point of view. 
There could be the other diagrams as well. I'm not getting into that part. That may be a little bit of complicated for you if we explain those kind of things. And for exam point of view, we don't require those other diagrams. So for this four statements, these are the basic diagram. This is a diagram for all. This is a diagram for some. This is a diagram for no. And this is a diagram for some not. So now the question is, how do we use it? We'll take an example. Usually, deduction type questions, you may have statements, statements given, and they are known as premises as well. So when you see the word premise in exam, don't get confused. Premise means what? Just statement. So statements, then you have conclusions below it, and you have to find out whether the given conclusions follow the statements or not. So first of all, we'll take the statements and we'll draw the Venn diagram. So once we draw the Venn diagram, we can find out whether the conclusions follow the given statements or not. So the first step is look at the statement, draw the Venn diagram. So we'll have the statements here. We'll take the example. All cats are dogs. Well, another statement. Some dogs are good. We'll take a third statement. Some good are not loyal. How do we draw this Venn diagrams for three different statements? First of all, all cats are dogs. So all cats must be what? Dogs. All cats are dogs. So that's a basic diagram for all statement. All cats are dogs. Second would be some dogs are good. So the basic diagram for some statements. So some dogs would be good. So the two circles, one is the circle of dogs and the other would be the circle of good. So some dogs are good. We have dogs here and some dogs are good. So do we need to draw the good over here or we need, we need to draw the good here? Think about it. What the statement says, some dogs are good. And the statement doesn't say that some good are cats. So that means good is not supposed to intersect with cats. What is our ultimate objective? Reduce the overlap. Reduce the overlap. In this case, dogs are good is already given in the statement. We cannot change it. So dogs and good, there must be an intersection. But good and cat, there's no given intersection. So what we do? Some dogs are good. Dogs and good. So this is dog, this is good. And we have the third statement, some good are not loyal. So what is it? Some not statement, some not statement. This would be the diagram. So what are the terms we have? Good and loyal. So already we have the diagram of good. Now we need to have a diagram of loyal as well. So in some not statement, two terms would be separated. There's no intersection. So we have good already here. The other term is loyal, so we'll draw loyal here without intersecting good. At the same time, loyal is not supposed to intersect cats or dogs because you know what? In this, any of the statements, it doesn't say that loyal is intersecting with dogs or loyal is intersecting with cats. So we have to keep the minimum intersection. If it is not given loyal is intersecting with cats or dogs, you are not supposed to connect it or you are not supposed to intersect these diagrams. So ultimately, this would be the diagram for these three statements. So after you draw the Venn diagrams, what is the next step? You look at the conclusion. The conclusions are not given here. So that would be the next stage of deduction. This is what the basic explanation of how do we approach the deduction questions and how do we solve the deduction questions that would be in the next video see you next time